Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today I'm going to show you what I'm planning to do on all my mirrors and cabinet doors. I've already done four of them, and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to just uh, show you some ideas that I had on doing a little bit of decorating. And what we're going to use is Camouflage duct tape. I got two rolls, and first I had to scrape the windows or the glass and clean them, get all the grease off of them. And I've already got fingerprints all over it. But so what we're going to do is measure. To make them straight. So we're going to start off with the first one. All right, so we're going to stay taking um, start right just the right above where that white line is. Just like so. Alright, now we're not going to stick it all the way. What we're going to do is we're going to take our micrometer here, if it's long enough. I don't think it's long enough. This one's a little different than the other one, yeah. Alright, we're going to have to measure this one with the tape measure. <coughs> and we've got seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. we got a pretty good eye. And then we just kind of Go across that, nice and neat, and then take that off right there, and to make sure you don't get no bubbles, you want to go in the center and push it, and then you take a flat trowel or scraper and go right up into the corner, kind of push it in between the glass and the wood, and then Take a razor blade and go in there and just cut that right down through there like that. Then we'll take this scraper and push in between the glass. Some of them a little tighter than others. Alright, now we'll go to the next one. This tape acts like it's acting funny here towards the end. And then we'll do the same thing up here and we'll go just right below and I'm so close I'm not even gonna measure. I, I know I'm close. I got a pretty good eye when it comes to stuff like that. And then we do the same thing. Lightly put that up in the corner. Take our razor blade that I just lost. Let's take the one other thing I had. Hope we got enough. Yep, we do. Same thing with this one. You want to follow the contour of that line.
got one more. And hope we got enough on this line to do it. And we did. And there you have the Bison logo. For my mirror. Now I'll show you the other one. We're planning on cleaning that one. Take everything off and put the Bison logo in the center of that one. But this one's going to be a big one. Uh, this one right here in fact. We're going to take that one and put right there. And I'll show you what I got, what I did on this over here. I did every one of these. Got the camouflage phone, camouflage phone holder, camouflage cup, and Here's what it looked like before we started. This old stuff here, it just flakes right off. It's, it's painted on, it's not actually uh, etched. So basically we took and scraped this off, cleaned it with Windex and got it nice and grease free so that this tape will stick and stick really good. And we're gonna do that to that one. And we're gonna do it to that one. And then we're gonna do something right here on this behind the stereo and i'd actually like to get me a better stereo to put in there a nice uh, car stereo because that is 12 volt and get some covers for my speakers uh probably make those too <clears throat> and i was thinking serious about putting the logo in the center of the toolbox exactly like the cabinet doors because I've been working on these toolbox drawers and once I've got the drawers cleaned up, so I had to take steel wool and clean all this off on these down here. And once I've got all the drawers done, then I'll take all the drawers out, remove the toolbox and everything and paint it black. And that'll be a nice looking toolbox once I'm done. Uh, kind of hoping to find a better toolbox to do that with but regardless even if I do find a better one that's got ball bearing drawer slides this one don't have ball bearing drawer slides and I've been fighting with that thing since probably uh, since 1990 I bought this new back in 1990 yep about 90 1990 and I've had that thing for a lot of years so that's our camouflage job for the bison workshop and that's going to be my theme for the bison workshop now these cabinet doors here are wood so we're just going to leave them the way they are and use them for stickers let's say for instance uh i buy something and it's got a sticker with it i'll just start putting stickers on it, like the race cars and um do all these plus all these here will all be for stickers for you know like the race car drivers or anybody 
that uh, I'm subscribed to I can put their sticker up there and uh, then I went and made these stickers right here that I plan to put right here or here probably right here but this one I have to put on with clear tape so that it will be uh, oil resistant so I can clean it and I also plan to do that with the lathe put one there or there probably right there be where I put that one because that gets the less punishment so that's our plan and once I'm done with the camouflage Well, that'd be a nice uh, picture to put on my logo, uh, on my videos. I'm going to take a picture with the cell phone so it'll be straight and get close to it and make a logo, a shop logo with, with these. So, stay tuned. As soon as I'm done, I'll show you the finished product.